Hello and welcome to Lost.com. Last episode, I got the camera ability by going to the Hyrule Field Chasm and finding Robbie in a new section of the map that is fully underground. It was very dark and what very spooky. That? Then we made our way to Kakariko Village and I saw the Ring Ruins, which look amazing, by the way. And we found out that Paya is the village chief and also that Princess Zelda showed up and told them not to go near the ruins. After that, we made our way to a Hateno village and I spent a really long time killing the monsters at Fort Hateno. Like, a really, really long time. And once we made it to Hateno Village, I went inside this clothing shop and turns out this little fashion person right here is pretty much wants to take over the whole town and there will be a mayoral election. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna see what happens to this mayoral election and if we have time afterwards, I wanna check out Laurelin Village. Oh, you again. Oh. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Oh. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course, mm, undecided. Oh. oh, if you haven't yet thrown in your lot with either candidate, then welcome to Team CC. Oh. That settles that. I trust. Now wait a second. Now wait a second. I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Oh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. Although Sophie and I must mind at the shop, where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? Um, I have to go. Oh, so eager to get started on my little errand already. You'll need these then. Uh, your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Um, I don't want to help Cece, honestly. Oh, hello. Don't I remember you from before? I'm sorry for all the commotion you got mixed up in, but since we are both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Sure! Ah, I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been seeking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tail my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it, too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please! Okay. I am actually- the side adventures in this game sound like so much fun, and I'm just excited to do all of them. Is this Reed's house? Reed, are you in here? Are you Reed? I honestly can't- yes, you are. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Ventess Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't you worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election, so I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste to no one's tried here in years. What kind of taste? Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. If I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that could stand up to CC. Except I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. And now that I think of it, it also had a unique pungent scent. If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Ah, yeah. uh, but don't worry about my problems. I hope you have a nice, relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make on the farm up the hill? I never start my morning without a glass. Do you need something from me? I have a Hylian shroom. What's this, something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking up this CC brand stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. That's mighty nice of you. Oh, okay. Well, let's pass out these mushrooms. Have a Hylian shroom. Have a Hylian shroom. Dragon. I feel like you see the dragons a lot more in this game. Hello. Have a 
have a Hylian shroom. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, it's my dad you want. He's in the house. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond quickly. I finally found the letter my great grandpa left, but can't reach it for it. My arms are too short, pond's too deep to swim, and anyways, I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. Wait, that's a part of the thing? Where is it? That thing? Oh, I can get that for you. Have a Hylian shroom. If you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd have- I'd have been in a tight spot, make no mistake. Fresh milk? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk, it's the best in Hateno. The secret's in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went, probably the squirrels taking them over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they'll drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed. Okay, I can do that. Oh, wait a second. <gasps> wait a second. My big brain is big braining right now, guys. Uh-oh. Now hold on. Or can I grab this now that I'm closer? Oh yeah. Ma'am. Ma'am. I have your thing. New specialty with mare cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. That's all that's in it. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to- Huh? That's my great grandpa's message bottle. But how did you- Did you fish it out for me? Thanks! There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Hmm, yep, there we go. Gosh, do I miss great grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put Great Grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Oh, this is a part of the 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 mares the mare. Let's see these squirrels. Hello, squirrel. Anywhere, guys. Give me acorn and lizard, I guess. There we go. We got three. Didn't even need the squirrels. Oh, dear. Ever mean! God dang it! Ah, good, you showed up. Take a look at this. Wow, that's some big cheese. I call it Hateno cheese. That message my great-grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know. I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Uh, anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. As I understand, Great Grandpa worked with the mayor back then on the, this Hateno cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villagers rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they're nuts. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. Oh, oh! Ta-da! The Hateno Cheese Shop is complete! Nothing like morning air on a farm, eh? Come to buy some fresh milk, Wanderer? Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but right now I don't have any fresh milk to offer you. I've been having to... Here's some acorns. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but I have a bottle on me. To the mayor! Have I given away all the mushrooms? Ugh, three more. Mayor! Mayor! Oh. What? Am I smelling things? Or do I detect a certain unique pungent aroma? Have some cheese! This is it! This is just what I've been looking for! My grandfather developed it with the with a fellow villager! A ton of cheese, of course! It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with, with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koya not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. But this is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make Hateno cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese, okay? Dang. All right, let's pass out the rest of these mushrooms. Why are you, who are you looking at? Hello? Oh, you're the customer I saw at Ventes Clothing, aren't you? I have to take care of this before the mayor mayoral election starts. What's on your mind? Oh, you don't mind lending me an ear? I won't mince words. It's about my husband, Reed. That man of mine, he shuts himself up 
in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. When I ask, he just says, it's a secret, and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me right away. But I get so worried when I think about whether whatever he's doing will affect his chances in the election. This sounds oddly familiar. I'd like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. The only problem I can see is that he keeps the place locked up tight. You'd never fit in through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something. Well, you see, there's a well over here, so I'm gonna jump in this well. Okay, hope I don't miss. Nope, okay. Oh shoot! I broke the wrong button. Imagine he's in here right now. No, okay. <laughs> Notes toward a new variety of pumpkin. Read. I firmly believe that Hateno Village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms, but there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays, and I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. We've hit a snag though, it might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. Okay, can I leave? <laughs> How goes it? Made any progress on that thing we talked about? You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin? So that's why he's been consulting with Knack so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why we went to Ventess clothing. It's so obvious in hindsight. Uh, I'm sorry. That's between me and my husband. All right. Reed's secret is complete. What else do we have to do here? Team CC or Team Reed, CC's secret. Every night, Sophie has asked you to tell CC. Okay, I can do that. No one must suspect. Whoa, I suspect, all right. Oh, is she going in there? That's oddly suspicious of you. Okay, she's inside. Am I supposed to go inside? Building. Condemned. Do not enter. Alone at last. Oh, do I have to go through the well system to get in there? Oh! <laughs> Hello. No. Oh, what? Well, now this is a fine turn of events. How in the world did you get in here? Into my silo, I might note. I can't just have anyone coming in and out all hours of the day. Shoo, shoo. Okay, so I was supposed to wait. Now we know. Have a Hylian Shroom. All right, I just need one more, I think. Yeah, come on, guys, come on. Really? The silo across the way? So that's where my sister has been spending her time. But what I still want to know is what sh is she doing in there? The window is up too high for me to see inside. I don't see how I'd climb up there without a ladder. There must be some way to see what she's up to in secret. Oh, so at night, I come in here instead of go through the cave. Oh, sh uh, it's waiting time. <gasps> Scooby-Doo gummies, Scooby-Doo. These are my favorite gummies ever. I loved them more when they weren't clear. Like, if you remember, if you've had these before, they used to be solid colored and, like, not see-through. I loved them when they were like that, but they probably changed it because it was, like, not good for you or something. Who knows? The door's unlocked. Oh, shoot, did I... Girl? Uh -huh. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. No. Oh, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. The shine, the luster, the fragrance, yes indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so without further ado, let us tuck in. A crunch, crunch, crunch. No. Ah, oh, so scrumptious. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour, here in private I must admit that the simple, unadorned things are best. There's simply no denying it, alas. 
But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to su su pick. What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. Let's hunt down that last person that we need. It'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Cece! Cece, I did it! Oh, have you handed them out already? Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. Oh, thank you. Everything's ready. It's time to get the election for village mayor started. Nice day for an election, don't you think? Everyone's gathering in the plaza. Wait, really? Oh, wow. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Um... Uh, hi, I'm Reed. I am the world-renowned CC. Fashion comes and goes. Your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon, and then where will we be? Nonsense, it's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's, that's enough! Dang, that was a good scream. Sophie? Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. No, Moi! Moi? <laughs> and you, Reed, your secret's out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's something? There, you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. Cece, I can't deny any of it. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. Cece, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. People of Hateno, we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Yippee! The CC hat is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves, the avant-garde, avant-garde, colorway. Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect Ooh. model. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? It's you that I want to model my CC hat. You who saved not just Hateno Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Yippee! All right, I think, oh, oh, it adds a lipstick. All right. Well, I think you look fabulous, Link, truly, truly. I'm going to end this episode here, hopefully, next episode we can actually make it to Lurlin village because my gosh i have been wanting to go there to save them from pirates for a very long time thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye